welcome back to Lincolnshire, Chris. Thank um, you. The Chancellor, in his autumn statement yesterday, announced a £1.1 billion pound fund to upgrade local roads. Now, knowing Lincolnshire as I do, a lot of the roads around here are very slow, and judging by the number of fatal accidents, sadly very dangerous as well. How much is Lincolnshire going to receive then as a result? Well, there's no doubt that I'm going to be getting heavily lobbied. Indeed, I'm already being heavily lobbied by Lincolnshire parliamentary colleagues, by Caroline Johnson as candidate in the Sleeper by election. Uh, to get better roads, more improvements for Lincolnshire. I know about the issues already. We've obviously got work poised to move ahead in the east side of Lincoln. Uh, there's, of course, the issue of the south bypass for Lincoln, which is going to have to be uh, addressed and I'd like to see come forward in the near future. Uh, and then, of course, there's other roads elsewhere in the county. There's the bypass issue around Grantham and the big one for the county is the A1. And I regard the A1 as being a big strategic priority for us. We've got a rolling programme of improvements to it and clearly that needs to continue. You mentioned the southern bypass around Lincoln, which obviously covers the Sleaford and North Highcombe constituency. Uh, there's also the A17, which is a major road cutting through the middle of the constituency, which is often very slow and a lot of traffic on it as well. Uh, how realistic is it to have both of these roads upgraded? Well, what I need, to be frank, from a county like Lincolnshire is proposals that we can deliver quickly. The money that was announced in the spending review is designed to be spent between now and the next general election in 2020. It's designed to make sure that we can move ahead quickly with new construction projects. Uh, and so I hope and believe that counties like Lincolnshire are going to come forward with some very tangible plans which we can get on with quickly. So it's up to Lincolnshire County Council and the other councils around the county to actually sort of come knocking on your doors? Well, when, it comes, when it comes to the strategy for the A1, that's my job. But actually with local roads in Lincolnshire, most of them are controlled by the County Council. Uh, we're very keen to partner with County Councils to deliver local road improvements. And there's also money for road safety improvements in areas where there are particularly safety issues. It's about the partnership between my department and the local authority and often the LEP to bring forward the right, spe right schemes. For me, those schemes need to do one of three things. They need to unlock a particular point of congestion, they need to uh, end a pinch point, uh, or they need to create a new housing opportunity in a, a, a country that needs more housing, or they need to create a new economic opportunity. Uh, and so my message to a county like Lincolnshire is look for schemes that do that. And I suspect here where there's some particularly problematic congestion points around the county, that's where the real focus will be. Well, I was actually going to name a pinch point to you. The A46 around um, the south and west side of Lincoln, it obviously um, it's partly dual carriageway, partly single carriageway. During rush hour, it becomes a major pinch point. Yep. There's a lot of traffic, a lot of congestion. A lot of the villages which Caroline may be representing in a few weeks' time actually suffer a lot of, um, sort of congestion themselves as it's used as a rat run. Um, people like Carl McCartney, and Lincoln MP, councillors from all across the county and in Lincoln as well, um, have been asking if the whole western side of the bypass, as it were, could be dualed. Is that something that you'd consider? Uh, absolutely. It is a, a locally organised road. The Lincoln East bypass <laughs> proposal, something has been done in partnership with uh, Lincolnshire County Council. I'm very much aware that the next stage is the bit that goes around the south side of Lincoln that very much affects the Sleaford area. Uh, and I know that's something that's now going to be looked at very seriously is how that can, whether that can come next. Moving on, you're a high profile campaigner on the Leave side during the EU referendum earlier this year. Uh, when Prime Minister Theresa May says Brexit means Brexit, which she said quite a few times, um, what do you think she means? Well, I was the, uh, the first uh, prominent Leave campaigner to back up the leadership. I did that because I've known her for a long time. I absolutely trust her to deliver Brexit. We've got to do it in the right way. We've been very clear. Brexit really means three things. Uh, it means taking back control of our lawmaking, taking back control of uh, our courts so that we are no longer subject to the, uh, the rule of the European Court of Justice. It means taking back control of our borders and immigration system so that we can decide how best to manage the flow of people into the country. Uh, and it also means working to deliver a, a, a relationship with our European neighbours. Uh, where we do business on as close to the current terms of doing business as we can. That, to my mind, is what Brexit means. The job we have ahead is to put in place the different pieces of the jigsaw puzzle to achieve that.